Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Let's Chat series. My name is Abhishek. Uh, the Tata Nexon electric SUV was launched earlier this year and the car as well as Tata's holistic vision for electric vehicles in India was very well received by the EV community. And today we are very pleased and indeed very lucky to have the Vice President of the Passenger Electric Vehicles Division here with us, Mr. Anand Kulkarni. Mr. Anand Kulkarni, welcome so much and thank you so much for joining us. Hi, Abhishek. Thank you very much. Very happy to be here on the forum today. Thank you. Mr. Anand, uh, we were very happy to see that Tata was offering the Nexon EV in 22 cities, Pan India. So what this means is even people in tier two and tier three cities are able to access it. That is the need of the hour, we feel. And tell us what the response has been like for the Nexon EV from your perspective. Uh, what, what, what kind of reactions have you been getting? Uh, so Abhishek, uh, uh, the Nexon EV was indeed started with about uh, 22 cities. It's actually gone on to be available in more cities now. And uh, uh, the response to the car uh, as we launched it uh, on the 29th of January earlier this year uh, and then later introduced it into the market uh, uh, towards late uh, February, that's when we started giving to our early customers. Uh, it's nothing uh, short of uh, phenomenal, you know, because a lot of people have uh, found the car so, uh, so practical, so useful. And, you know, the best thing that I like personally about it is uh, that for anybody who drives the car for the first time, it puts a smile on their face. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's that's been the best reception uh, that we could have had on an electric vehicle. Uh, we we uh, have had uh, uh, the unfortunate, uh, uh, you know, the pandemic coming through, which has been very, very unfortunate because it happened within about a month of uh, the car get, uh, hitting the streets. And uh, therefore, everything sort of uh, went down, uh, everything closed down. Uh, but ever since the lockdowns have started opening, uh, uh, people have been very happy. Uh, to sort of uh, the earlier own early owners who got the car were very happy to drive it around uh, there are a lot of people uh, who are keen to own the car and uh, i think the the reception has been just uh, spectacular okay i'm very happy to hear that uh, uh, i was not able to attend the nexon ev launch unfortunately because i was out of town uh, but my colleagues attended it and i watched it online and one thing that just blew our minds at the time was the Tata Universe ecosystem which you launched and which comprises Tata's sister companies. Uh, we learned that Tata will manufacture the EV, that uh, Tata Autocom system will create electronic components, that Tata chemicals will work on battery cells, that Tata Power will work on charging infrastructure and so on. And I mean, like that, it was just so amazing. And with such an infrastructure, Tata can achieve vertical integration and control processes, reduce cost, improve efficiency. Tell us how the Tata universe was involved in the creation of the Nexon EV and what role this ecosystem will play in future EV launches. Right, right. So that's a that's a very uh, interesting question because uh, you know I want to go back to the time that uh, the the senior most leadership within the Tata Group sort of had this vision of uh, uh, bringing electrification to India because, uh, you know, uh, uh, India, uh, the vibrant and energetic place that it is, unfortunately has a very dubious uh, distinction also that out of the 20 most polluted cities in the world, uh, 16, 17 cities are in India. And this is something that we needed to correct. So right. the leadership vision was to uh, make sure that electrification can be driven and uh, we could sort of uh, improve the situation here. Uh, so what what started off obviously is with Tata Motors holding uh, the entire product piece. But uh, like you see Abhishek in terms of uh, uh, the IC engine, for example, uh, vehicles have been there for the last uh, century or so, about 100 years. And therefore, this entire ecosystem has developed. So you find that there are ample number of suppliers, there are ample number of parts makers, uh, there are fuel stations, there are service stations, there are capable people who can manage this entire thing. 
now uh, how do you create this from scratch and how do you make sure that you know the uh, the entire vision of electrification does not suffer on account of some piece not being together so uh, very early on uh, the tata group uh, and uh, tata motors led by uh, shailesh chandra our president uh, sort of uh, we we start all started working on this entire uh, ecosystem based uh, ecosystem uh, or the uni evers as we call it and uh, which meant that various parts of the tata group uh, depending upon what area they were sort of very close with could come together and help establish the ecosystem so right. as i said uh, the uh, the product is best done by tata motors but then there is tata power uh, who also specializes in power uh, uh, distribution electricity and things of that sort and uh, they they could bring uh, the charging uh, infrastructure in place uh, tata chemicals has been playing with chemicals and specialty chemicals for a very long time and uh, as we know the lithium ion batteries are uh, some of the most uh, uh, precise uh, chemical uh, compositions and uh, processes that need to go into it so uh tata chemicals picked up this thing where they would uh, want to make the batteries uh, mm -hmm. and then uh, of course there were other pieces uh, like for example tata capital came in with the ability to do the financing options mm -hmm. and tata auto components which has been in the business of making a large variety of components uh, pitched in to say that they could assemble and make the batteries in house and wow. uh, that's that's how this entire thing has been coming together and uh the the centerpiece is still going to be the product so tata motors is sort of anchoring this and uh, the rest of the companies are pulling in their knowledge their competence to make sure that this evolves and so far i think together we've been able to do a fairly good job and uh, i think this will only grow so we've been able to use this ecosystem to bring in and establish and uh, put this entire electrification thing in place and uh, there will only be better things from here on.